GM Defense, U.S. Army Infantry Squad Vehicle, ISV, First Drive, Combat Carpool. Our review of the race-prepped, nine-seat, open-bodied Chevy Colorado ZR2 that's much better than walking. America's Army infantry soldiers have mostly been getting around on foot, but they're about to get a radical upgrade in the form of the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2-based infantry squad vehicle. Check out the behind-the-scenes backstory to learn how this crash program was executed in a matter of months. But here let's just dive right into what might just become a great recruiting tool for the Army's 35 Infantry Brigade combat teams. 275 horsepower, 420 pound-feet the military generally runs on diesel fuel and the chemically similar JP-8 and F-24 fuels. So the ZR-2's 2.8-liter turbodiesel inline four-cylinder engine is modified to sense and adjust for these fuels automatically. Further improvements for ISV duty end up boosting output to 275 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque, 89 more horses and 51 more LBFT than stock. That's almost all just tuning, largely made possible by tailoring it to suit the Army's unique duty cycle and, um, more lenient emissions requirements. There is no NOx trap and hence no diesel emissions fluid, though no emissions controls are defeated per se and you won't see ISVs rolling coal. Usage and maintenance patterns are quite different. A stock Chevrolet Colorado ZR2 needs to be capable of enduring 20,000 miles per year for a decade with potentially spotty maintenance. By contrast an army vehicle may only accrue a tenth as many miles per year over its 30-year expected lifespan, during which it will experience a very different service life involving fewer miles, more engine hours, and brief periods of highly intense usage. So some durability requirements and safety margins are exceeded a bit for the ISV. Oh, and a combat mode disables all limp home nannies to get soldiers out of harm's way and the ISV will be treated to a strict regimen of preventative maintenance checks and services. Sadly, while you'll be able to buy most of the suspension modifications listed below from GM Performance Parts, GM will not sell chip kits to achieve these power and torque figures. How quick is the ISV? The Army won't share its figures but they would be meaningless anyway because they test at max 8,200 pound GVWR. 5,000 max for the truck, 3,200 pounds for the nine troops and their gear. But we've tested two diesel trucks with six-speed automatic transmissions and similar weight to power ratings, 18.0 pounds per horsepower, which both did the 0 to 60 mph run in 6.9 seconds and ran the quarter mile in just over 15 seconds at around 90 miles per hour. So that's a safe guess for how the ISV would fare in an official motor trend test with just the driver on board. That's well better than the 9.7 seconds to 60 and 17.2 seconds at 78.4 miles per hour we've recorded on a stock ZR2 diesel. Chad Hall Racing Suspension The heart of the ZR2 suspension is its implementation of Multimatic Dynamic Suspension Spool Valve Shocks which run a unique damping curve tuning developed by the Hall folks to work with the GM Performance Jounce shocks that team also developed. These hydraulic jounce bumpers cushion the full travel suspension hits, and for ISV duty their frame mounts are welded on. GM Performance versions use a mount that clamps over the frame. Special skid plates protect the lower shock mounts. The rear mount for the front upper control arm is reinforced and the rear differential gets welded on reinforcements, all of which address failures Hall Racing has experienced, many of which were witnessed by Chevy engineers standing by in the pits during the races. Sturdy canvas straps limit rebound travel to protect the ball joints. The ZR2's standard 17-inch Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tires are replaced by the similar performing BF Goodrich Mud Terrain T, AKM3 tires the Chad Hall team uses because they have endured 4,000 miles of racing durability testing. They're mounted to 7.0x 17-inch beadlock wheels. It's also more comfortable to ride in the purpose of the ISV is to airdrop the vehicle and troops into a safe zone to meet the soldiers then drive it through low threat areas at speed, walking the rest of the way on foot where threat is greater. 
This way the troops should arrive much less fatigued than they would have if they'd walked or been carried in a Humvee or JLTV. We sampled a set of concrete whoop t doughs spaced to guarantee severe bottoming and topping of the suspension. The ISV didn't feel quite as cushy as the score racers I have ridden in, largely because it has less suspension travel. I was grateful for the four-point harnesses on this maneuver, but it was vastly more comfortable and felt far less damaging to the truck than running the same course at the same speeds in the stock vehicle. The Chad Hall ZR2 suspension took the whoop-t-dose just as adroitly as the ISV had done earlier.